Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tony, thank you very much. Joe, what an honor to have Tony Principi, Joe McCain, Orson Swindle to come out tonight, and all of you all as well. And uh, can I see, is, is Buddy Penn in the house here somewhere? Former Secretary of the Navy, Buddy Penn, thank you so much. Let me just recognize a couple of others. Individuals here. Tim Nank is our uh, uh, host of ceremonies tonight. Tim Nank, as many of you know, ran for delegate down in the Kingstown area and they had a great campaign. Came up a little bit short, but it had nothing to do with the candidate. It was the area where he was. And the other thing about Tim, Tim just became an ensign in the United States. <laughs> down yet, but, but uh, it's, it's in route. It's coming very soon. Uh, I'd also like to say hi to Carlos. Carlos, where are you? Carlos Puertas is uh, helping us out with the uh, You've met Orson, you've met Joe. Uh, Ted, where are you? Where is Ted tonight? Right there. Sir, thank you very much. And then I want to mention, um, uh, Joe mentioned him already, but uh, Congressman Bob Michael. Where is Congressman Michael? I always admired Congressman Michael and hoped he would have had that speaker's gavel, and it was very close. It didn't quite happen, but I think we'd have been, a, we'd been much better off had it would have. But uh, Congressman Michael is also a uh, World War II veteran. As Joe pointed out, he is a Bronze Star recipient. He's also a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now, I don't know how many people have that kind of service in both, both as a soldier and as a civilian. So I'd just like to say thank you, sir, for your service to this country very much. say this used to be a swing district. <laughs> we got every right to retake it. I can't vote for you because I'm still voting back in Peoria. <laughs> but I got a daughter and a son-in-law who are going to vote for you right here in Old Town. Yeah, yeah, and I'll tell you, I applaud you for stepping forward, making the race, because if we don't have the caliber of people like yourself running, we're not going to win it. But you give us real encouragement, and I applaud you for making the race. We're going to make him swing from a tree. <laughs> now, whoa, wait, I didn't say that. <laughs> now, just to end, uh, Congressman Michael actually uh, has another talent. And um, I, I understand he's a very good singer. So after I'm done here, I think if, uh, if we can prevail upon him to lead us in uh, something like God Bless America or something, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. All right. Uh, let me, I, there are a number of other wonderful Americans in here, and, uh, and I'll probably miss pointing all of you out. I just want to say thank you all very much for coming. Uh, our strategy has been, uh, which won't surprise you very much because I'm a retired Army guy, it's been a good, aggressive ground campaign. That's what we've been doing. We have been out knocking on doors and going to metro stops, phone calls and everything else and talking to people. And one thing that excites me more than anything else is that, ladies and gentlemen, we're catching a wave in 2010. We're catching a wave of Republican excitement. And uh, all of the memberships around Northern Virginia are up, whether they're young Republicans or Alexandria City Committee, Arlington uh, County, whatever they are, the numbers are doubling and tripling. And when I talk to people, when I'm knocking on doors and talking to people, and all I have to say is I'm Patrick Murray, I'm a military veteran, and I'm running for Jim Moran. <laughs> running against Jim Moran, and I get invited in. <laughs> so it's a, it's a nice thing, and it's also uh, indicative of where we are in 2010. Other things, uh, when I talk to Tea Party members and a lot of these other people, I hear people, I hear the same things over and over. You know, I've never been interested in politics, Patrick. 
It's never really concerned me so much. But I'm concerned. I'm concerned about what's going on. I'm concerned about where the government is going. I call it the Star Trek syndrome. The government's going where no government has ever gone before. <laughs> At least no American government. <laughs> So then they ask you, you know, you are in a perfectly legitimate, reasonable profession. The most uh, popular profession, the highest rated profession in terms of when people say, well, what's, what, what profession do you value most? It's the military. What profession do you value least? <laughs> Congress. So um, I tell people after I was dropped on my head that um, I want to reduce your taxes. And as, as well as reducing taxes, let's, how about let's balance the budget? And let's, uh, 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 Tony mentioned, I was raised by a single mother. She taught me some things. She taught me to be honest. She taught me to mean what you say and say what you mean. And she taught me to live within my means and to work hard. Wouldn't that be some nice principles that our federal government followed? So uh, obviously, we want to get rid of this $12 trillion of debt that we have, that we're passing on to our, to our kids who have no say in it. And we want to make sure that we have a strong defense as well. You know, the, when, you, when you put all those things together and you back up a little bit, you just think about where we are with the Constitution. The Constitution is a limiting document. It limits, it constrains what the federal government can do. Now, it's pretty clear to me that most of our politicians have forgotten that, if they ever knew it. And so when I think about that, that's uh, you think about it, you look at cap and trade, you look at Obamacare, you look at where we're going with taxes, it's very clear that all that is happening. Now, we were up in Reston last weekend. We were knocking on doors. We got hungry. We stopped. A couple of us we went into McDonald's. Has anybody seen the new uh, item on the McDonald's menu? It's called the... Um, it's called the Obama Value Meal. And the way it works is you order as much as you want of anything that you want on the menu, and the guy behind you has got to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs>